hello hi welcome back to my youtube channel if it's your first time here yeah, hi my name is millicent and on this channel i do all things motherhood lifestyle and everything else in between today i'm here with a sunday reset this is not what my sundays look like but this is what i aspire for my sundays to look like to be productive and to set the tone for the new week if you know me or if you've been here for long you know that i truly truly advocate for doing things when you want to do them and being productive and you know getting your life in order I'm, i really love order i feel like having some type of routine helps my brain i am a creature of routine of habit i would wear the same clothes eat the same food every day if life allowed me i love predictability i don't like things that are not predictable and i know that some of my characters may not show or some of the things that i do may not reflect that but but for the most part that is the person that i am Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just want to leave you guys with a little Nyana thought before you can see the video. I've been seeing this trend on TikTok talking about decentering men. So meaning you remove men as like you remove them from the center of your life. You don't make a decision based on the fact that there's a man or whatnot. They're not saying don't aspire to be married or be a wife or love men or anything like that. But they're saying remove them from the center of your life and put yourself there so that you are the price you are the main goal you are the main attraction baby you are the diamond in the museum you are the queen of the jungle type of vibe and i thought to myself i need us when that conversation is done or when it's still happening to talk about decentering motherhood i don't know if it's just me but i feel like me and a lot of other women are using motherhood as a reason to not achieve our goals as a reason to not be a nice person to yourself as a reason to not get things done because i'm a mother and i'm saying this because i'm, I'm seeing so many videos of people living in filthy houses and they're like i don't have time to clean because i'm a mother and i'm just like is it really because your mother which is really you don't like cleaning and I see people overspending on their money. No, my kids needed three tricks. But my friend, you're bra. You're bra. So you don't have bad money management. You just don't want to use the money on yourself. But anyway, I just thought, yeah, I'm just leaving you with the thought. Decentering from motherhood. What do you guys think? Like, where do we draw the line between being a good mother, being a good mother, not mother, <laughs> being a good mother, and being excessive like where do we draw the line like where where do you cut the line to say this is the mother and this is the person but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll be popping in here in the oh before i leave guys you will see my man my man everybody calls him daddy i'm really trying to get away from calling him my husband my husband i don't know i find i'm starting to find it very uncomfortable but not for myself but because people say that it's uncomfortable for them to hear us saying my man my man my man so i'm gonna start calling him daddy because that's what everybody calls him anyway daddy is cooking a tomboro for me because i told him daddy one thing about me i am young married and spoiled and that is my new brand i'm young married and spoiled in this era of my life young married and spoiled if it's your first time here i've been with my husband for almost four years and in that entire period we've only dated dated for five months and we've been married for the other for the other months in other years and sometimes love how my husband is healing my childhood traumas i had a fairly good childhood my parents did the level best i never liked for anything but my traumas come from being a middle child so as a middle child i barely got any attention because my parents were either dealing with a teenager or they were dealing with the baby and i was just left in the middle fending for myself hence i have a lot of friends and i'm very talkative and people say i'm very forthcoming but i i, I think i'm very shy <laughs> but once i get i, I think i also i talk a lot because i want to get the attention anyway i don't want us to get into therapy but yeah i love that being married is healing those parts of me because as a middle child i never got so much attention i think my parents did their best i know that they did their best but it was just not enough for me as a child and now that i'm grown it's starting to show up again that hey girl turn the attention you know but i'm not gonna do like pull stunts to get attention i just when people give me the attention i really really love it and i shine you know when you look at a, at a, at a peacock and it just sees that you look at it and it starts showing off its feathers that's me anyway getting back to this point so 
I love that my husband can see those things and when I want his attention, he gives me and he tries his best to do like everything and anything that I want. So my baby was like, I'll make you don't worry. Guys, I can't bake anything that is has to do with an oven like and flour. It's always a mess. I've tried but I don't get it right. But Daddy does his best to always shop for me in those things because it's little things but he knows that they they make the little girl in me happy you know when i want something and i get it he doesn't say you'll get it later i'll get it tomorrow but i get it now so like the sense of urgency i don't know if i make sense but anyway i'm also cooking beef stew i'm actually preparing chorso but i'm too lazy to like remove the bones and all that so i just overcook it with the pressure cooker but when you eat you can tell what you chose and let me tell you it smells it tastes and smells so good and here's a trick if you want your beef to taste amazing add tomato paste or tomato sauce towards the end like when it's done cooking and it's just simmering on the stove add some tomato sauce and you are set i've spoken enough i hope you guys enjoy this video